Hi everybody, welcome to Friday's lesson for literacy. In this lesson, you will need some paper, a pencil, some colours, and also for our challenge, we're going to see if we can attach all of our story that we've made so far together. So if you have sellotape, split pins, a hole punch, a stapler, can you get those? Pause the video. I hope you've got everything that you need now. Today, we're going to be writing the end of our story using our phonics knowledge. So the first thing that I need to do is draw the end of my story. So for my picture here, I'm going to draw the tree that all the farm animals were dancing around at their farm dance. And I'm also going to draw the farm animals. So here I'm drawing a picture of the pig. The pig is looking amazed. And so is the sheep. So here's my sheep pig and the sheep have got a shocked expression. Their eyes are open wide because they are watching somebody. Who do you think the pig and the sheep are watching? They're watching Harry the horse and Harry the horse is doing a backwards somersault. So I'm drawing Harry here. He's gone upside down and he has flipped. He's doing the most amazing dancing that they have ever seen. Can you see here Harry the horse? Now I've drawn my picture, I'm going to retell it. Harry felt his body do the most amazing thing. He did a backward somersault and leapt up into the air. Harry felt so wonderful. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, he cried. All the animals said, Harry is the best dancer we have ever seen. Harry took a bow. We can all dance when we find the music that we love. Now I'm ready to write the final part of my story. Horses can't dance. At the end of my story, at the farm dance, Harry the horse does a somersault in the air. The other animals think he's the best dancer. And finally, Harry takes a bow. Let's see if I can think of a sentence to match the end of my story. Harry the horse did a somersault. The horse did an amazing dance. He does brilliant dancing. Hmm, what should I have a go at writing? I like, he leapt up high. How many words in my sentence? Four. Shall we say the sentence together? Let's rehearse it. He leapt up high four words now what do i need at the beginning of my sentence that's right a capital letter we've been writing the tricky word he can you point to it on your sound mat 
he. So I'm going to write my capital. <sighs> Is it the E digraph? It sounds like it, but we only need one F in the tricky word E, uh, in the tricky word he. He leapt. Let's say the sounds we can hear together. L -e -p -t. Four sounds. L down the long leg. L -e Cut off the top, scoop out the egg. P down the pirate's plait, back up and around the pirate's face. T down the tower and across the tower. He leapt. What's the next word? Up. How many sounds in up? Or p two. Where do I need to write that word? Here? No, it's a new word. I need a finger space. Here. Or p. And our last word is hi. <sighs> I. Only two sounds. Now we have been learning the trigraph, I, I. First, I need my Now, do you remember which three letters makes the sound I? Can you spot it on your sound mat? It's an I, G, and now what do I need at the end of my sentence? That's right, I need my full stop here. I'm going to reread my sentence now to check it. He leapt up high. Now I tried really hard to use my phonics to write the word leapt. This is how we write it. I have finished my sentence. I've checked it. Now I would like you to use your phonics knowledge to have a go at writing the end of your new story. Some of you might be able to write some key words. Some might be able to write a sentence like I have and other children might want to push themselves by challenging themselves to write more than one sentence. Please let the children try to spell the words with the sounds they know before showing them the correct spelling. After you've written your story, I want you to read all of your story back. Remember to ask your adult to send your work to your teacher's email address. Pause the video for 10 to 15 minutes. Have a go at writing your final sentence. Our final challenge of the week is to put all of your pages into the correct order. So I'm just checking mine now. I've got my title page, my front cover. I've got my first page, my second page, my third page, and then my last page is the blurb. Now, at my house, I'm going to use some tape to attach my pieces of paper together. You might have a stapler, you might have split pins, you might have treasury tags, I've got my tape here. I'm going to attach my tape to the side of my paper and then it will look just 
like a real book because all of the pages will be stuck together correctly. And there we have it. There is my finished book. I cannot wait to see pictures of your books. Thank you so much, everybody, for all your hard work this week. See you all soon. Bye.